eat it when you're losing water and nutrients from your body that is either due to diarrhea or due to vomiting diarrhea does not mean frequent foam stool what we mean is watery stools or when the liquid content of the stools are increased ORS is constituted by besides water it has glucose and other electrolytes like sodium potassium etc so you just cannot use ORS as a rehydrating solution when you're thirsty remember it contains certain electrolytes so you need to use it when there is loss of water dehydration so vomiting diarrhea heat stroke these are the conditions when you are supposed to use ors and not just like a healthy drink in the market we would initially get two packets which is one small packet is to be mixed in a glass which is 200 ml of water and the big packet is to be mixed in 1 liter of water i insist that all of you must read on the packet of ors because it contains both in english and in the regional language hindi etc how to prepare you should not use a small packet in 1 liter similarly you should not use a packet meant for 1 liter in 200 ml because that can give rise to problem you are supposed to use ors after you lose that water or electrolyte from your body so it depends as many times as you have vomiting or diarrhea our body like 6 70% is water so it depends if you are 50 kg then your volume is different as compared to a child who is 10 kg so the proportion of the loss of the body that's what you need to give on an average i can give you some suggestions is that a baby who is less than 2 months old we assume giving 5 teaspoon of ors should be okay 1 teaspoon is like 5 so between 2 months to 2 years i would say approximately 1/4 to half a cup after each loose stool depending it was medium or a large stool and if it is more than 2 years i would say half cup to a cup which is you know between 75 to 150 or up to 200 ml and in an adult usually we say assess what you know the stool volume you are losing and generally we say a glass of water after each loose stool generally uh, what is written on the packets is that we can store up to 24 hours once the solution is made that is you mix the packet the normal packet which says the big packet in 1 liter of water so the common myths you should not give e uh, uh, to a child who's vomiting with uh, you know or having diarrhea and people use sugary drinks like you know like uh, apple juice or fruit these type of drinks are to be avoided all conditions where the there is loss of water from the body especially in the form of diarrhea can be managed with ors only issue arises that if you have excessive vomiting then you may not be able to tolerate the ors and that is the time we say that you need to go in for an iv drip because you're not tolerating the ors especially a small if you are uh, you know irritable and uh, you're getting very dizzy drowsy unconscious these are the indications eyes are sunken that means you're not able to cope up that is the time you must go to the hospital and the doctor can decide whether he would want to continue with ors or give you an iv drip because this is called as sub signs of dehydration and sometimes when the child is extremely thirsty 
but is not able to accept orally so that is also an indication that you might you would need an admission and of course if you have blooded stool you must go to the uh, to the doctor to get the right treatment